Hi guys, Alice Taylor down here at Lytham Golf Academy. Today we're going to take a look at the setup and the difference in setup between irons and driver. So we're going to talk initially about why there needs to be a difference in setup as to what it creates at impact and for what we're looking for the club to do through impact, how those little adjustments will make it easier for you to deliver the club correctly without trying to change your swing at all. So I'm just going to hit a shot with each. We're going to look at what happens with the club head through impact, talk about what's happening, and then we're going to talk about how we set up correctly to help best deliver that. So first of all, I'm going to hit the iron shot. I'll just myself set for now. And a nice strike. Just today drifting a little bit to the right on the breeze, but that felt good. And certainly what we can see there is the angle of attack, the way the club head is moving into the ball, it's traveling down and hitting ball and then ground. So as we move on to driver, obviously drivers, I'd say always on the tee, but occasionally you see guys hitting it off the floor. I wouldn't really recommend that, but the ball's up in the air now. So I'm going to hit the shot with driver and then look at how the club travels through impact with this club. Another nice solid one, just drifting a touch on the breeze. But we can see there the club head very different traveling up through impact as opposed to with the iron we saw traveling down. So guys, we can see at impact, we're looking for the club to be doing very different things because the golf ball's on the floor with an iron, we need the club moving down through impact. Because the ball's up on the tee with the driver, we're looking for the ball to be collected on the way up. So what we're going to talk about initially is how we set up with irons and how that's going to help influence that club to travel down through impact. So what we're going to see, I've got seven iron here, so the ball position does adjust slightly as the clubs get a little bit longer, but not a massive amount. So we can see as we set up to the golf ball, I'm looking for the width of feet to be shoulder height, if not just slightly narrower than my shoulders. I'm looking for the ball to be very central, which is opposite my sternum. That's therefore the lowest part of my golf swing. As we set up to the golf ball, we see that the hands sit opposite the inside of the left thigh, which gives a very slight forward shaft lean at address. As we set up to the golf ball, we'd be looking for maybe just a tiny bit more pressure on that lead foot. That's going to give us something to press off against in the start of the backswing. But what we're really looking for from there then is that nice narrow stance. And then we're able from there to move the club away. The weight will transfer into the back leg. But as the hands are nearing the top of the swing, the pressure's already moving back into that front leg. So that down into impact, the bottom of the swing's moved forward, meaning that the ball's being collected on the way down with a good strike through to that nice full finish. So slightly narrower than my shoulders, it's a little bit more pressure on that lead foot, and off we go. And it's something that I think, predominantly when I see guys starting off, I see a lot of beginners kind of really trying to get underneath the golf ball and almost setting up quite decently, but really leaning on that back foot. Really gets the bottom of the arc in the wrong place, delivers some very, very poor contact. And then guys really haven't got that concept. They get told to hit down more. It's a case of getting the bottom of the swing in the correct place. So like we said, get yourself set correctly. A little bit more pressure on that front foot. And just very, very solid. And the more you can get used to setting up in that way, is really going to encourage some good ball striking. And like I said, any time the ball's on the floor, with any club, we need to be getting ball and then turf. Now, as the ball moves slightly further forward in the stance with the longer irons, hybrids, and fairway woods, we're still setting up in a very similar manner with the ball position changing, and we still want that downward strike. But because the ball position is a little further forward, 
the angle of attack is a bit more shallow. But generally speaking, that setup with the ball on the floor will lead to some really good ball and then turf interaction. Now, like I said, with driver though, it's very, very different. We're looking because the ball's up in the air and because driver hasn't got a huge amount of loft on it, we're looking to actually start collecting the ball on the way up in the golf swing. Now, because as we set up to the golf ball, we're going to take a slightly wider stance, just for me going to give you a slightly more solid base, a so slightly wider than your shoulders now, and we're looking for the ball position to be more kind of opposite the left armpit. It can be slightly individual, doesn't necessarily need to be in exactly the same place for everyone, but we want the ball position well forward of our lowest point in our golf swing. Then as we set up, where with the irons we felt a little bit more pressure on the lead foot, the front foot, I don't mind a little bit more pressure on that back foot and maybe just to feel that the spine just tilts a tiny bit more away from the target. Now all that's going to encourage is the bottom of the arc to be further back, the club to travel up much more through impact, which hopefully with a decent strike is going to give us that nice high launch and low spin that the modern driver tends to lend itself towards and that the modern golf ball really, really needs. So we're going to take that slightly wider stance, ball position forward, feel I lean my spine a little bit away, and like I said, I don't mind a little bit more pressure in that lead leg, uh, sorry, that back leg. And then from there, make your normal swing. And then we can see how that club travels much more on the way up. Like I said, delivering that higher launch, lower spin. Again, I see a lot of golfers really, really trying to help the ball in, in the air. We still have to get that weight transferring in the way down, but from that improved setup position, all I tend to see with a lot of guys is as they move the ball position forward, they don't maintain that spine angle. All they get from there is they then follow the ball to try and get the sternum in line with the ball. That's going to create a whole load of problems in the backswing and the downswing and really lead to a lot of inconsistency, which probably a lot of you guys out there can relate to with driver. So like we said, slightly wider stance, ball position forward, little bit of spine lean away from the target, and off we go. So guys, we can see, I mean, fundamentally, the club is being delivered very, very differently with an iron than it is with driver. And we don't want you to be really trying to do loads of different things in your golf swing. We want to try and make the little adjustments we need for that to be a much more natural uh, movement into the golf ball. Like I said, it's not hard and fast for everyone that that's perfect. But if you're someone that struggles with the irons, have a look at your setup, refer back to those points. That should help. Equally, if you're somebody who struggles with driver, have a look at your setup, look back at what I've just spoken about, try and set yourself up more like that. I'm not promising it's going to give you perfect shots every time, but I am saying it's going to give you the best opportunity to deliver the appropriate club in the correct manner to improve your ball striking and help you hit more good shots. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. Um, Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Please follow me on all the social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.